everybody, it's Jill Sabella with Sabella Styles, and today I'm going to be making this card using the Artfully Aware stamp set. Um, I just thought it was a fitting stamp set during these times. It's got some really nice phrases um, and some cool images, so I wanted to use that and show it off. Um, we're also going to be using Pretty Peacock and Pool Party, our base colors, and we're also showing um, the Lily Impressions Designer Series paper, which I have used quite a lot of so I have got scraps so I decided to do a card with a bunch of scraps but this paper is really cool and you can earn it with $50 purchase um, I've also made some other cards real quick with that um, I'm gonna show you just real quick and I will be doing a video a quick video on one of these um, but it's it's versatile in what it can be used for so let's get started um, first to make your card you're going to need your base at um, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Let me get those measurements sitting right here just so you can see them. Then you're going to need a piece of, you're going to need three pieces of pool party um, measuring at one and a half by four and a quarter and you'll need three of those. Also a piece of pool party that measures at two inches by two and a half inches. Then you'll need some whisper white that measures at um, two and an eighth by two and three eighths and another one that is four inches by five and a quarter for the inside. And then um, I forgot to mention the other piece of Pretty Peacock, which was this size, four and a, two and a quarter by two and three quarters. And then also some scraps of the uh, Lily Impressions Designer Series paper. They actually measure at one and a half by four inches, and you'll need three of those. Um, you can use either side, but I am gonna use the pattern side today. Um, so let's get started stamping that. And you're actually going to be stamping on the pool party piece and um, we'll be stamping that um, we'll be stamping the words too on pool party but first of all I'm going to stamp the image um, using the pretty peacock ink right on the, the piece here sorry I'm gonna get in the way of the camera a lot and we'll just position that right there in the center it's really pretty but the first thing you'll need, I'm going to set this aside and I'll have it at the end. Um, first thing you need for the is the base of the card. And then I actually use the multi-purpose, not multi-purpose liquid glue. I just find it's better for moving things around and um, giving you the ability to get things positioned exactly where you want them to be without, um, without them sticking for good kind of deal. So we're going to use this, just put a little bit of glue on the back of that. And I am going to place the first one just about a quarter inch from the top. Um, and then I, every one of them a quarter inch from each other. So it should work out even-ish. It's okay if it's not. Um, again, so I, like I said, I was using scrap pieces for this. These are all scraps I had that I just ended up cutting down. And I also kind of thought it went along with the theme. Um, Sorry, I dropped something. In the sense that, you know, kind of things feel like they're in pieces, so the struggle is real, and then I kind of put it together that way. That was kind of my thought on that, um, if that makes sense. Then you'll be taking the designer series paper and doing the same thing, just opposite direction. So I just kind of quarter inch from the left for the first one, and then I took the other another one and put it quarter inch on the from the right hand side. And then I layered the top one on top. Um, kind of centered, you know, top and bottom, left and right, about the same. I mean, really, it doesn't have to be perfect because pieces aren't perfect. Um, so there's that. And then I will be stamping um, the struggle is real on the outside, directly on that little bottom section there. There's just enough room for that um, on that piece. And then, um, let me put that aside real quick. And then I'm just going to layer up the pieces um, for the image. So what we'll do first is we'll put, um, oops, put a little glue on the white piece. And again, with this glue, I can, because these borders are so close, I can get it just how I want it um, by just moving it slightly because that glue gives me a little bit of wiggle room. So move that, and then we'll put this one on here, just like that. Give it a sec to dry. Um, I'm gonna flip it over and use dimensionals on the back. Just put four in the corners, and I like to use every bit of these dimensionals, so I have cut them up on the edges, as many of my girls know that come to my classes. 
I don't like to waste. I don't like to waste. That's why I'm using scraps. Um, okay, and then we're gonna just kind of center that there. And then a, just a little added fun is this, um, it's actually our stri mini striped ribbon and it is a quarter inch wide and this is in the Gorgeous Grape, which is one of the colors in the Lily Impressions um, Designer Series paper. So I'm gonna stick that on using a glue dot. Actually, these are glue dots from Paper Pumpkins. So don't mind me, it's gonna take me a sec. I like our other glue dots a little easier, but I just had these on hand quicker today, so I'm gonna use them. So a couple of glue dots just on the back of the bow and um, stick it right there. So you have a quick, easy card. Again, using up some of your scraps and get that done. Um, as far as the Lily Impressions Designer Series paper, it is free with our celebration this month, which um, it is free with a qualifying purchase of $50. So if you do want that paper, um, I kind of mapped it out here. If you purchase um, actually the Artfully Aware stamp set along with the Pretty Peacock cardstock and the pool party cardstock and the pretty pink ink pad or excuse me pretty peacock <laughs> pretty and pink that's an old color pretty peacock ink pad and then some stampin dimensionals um that adds you up to about 52 dollars and it gets you the paper for free so um if you are interested in, in these just um take a look at my website at sabellastyles.stampinups.net um, or you can contact me there or you can place an order online there. Um, I also wanted to show you real quick, um, but I made a couple of other paper um, uh, cards with the stamp set just to show you um, how it can be, you know, not, I mean, obviously I made this one a little more feminine for a friend, but it can be um, for everyone. So hope you enjoyed and we'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Hey, so I realized I forgot to show you the inside of the card and you'll use the whisper white piece for the sentiment. So the struggle is real, I'm here for you or the struggle is real, you've got my support. Well, I guess that was the perfect ending that was meant to be for my video. See you later.